Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing um, this violin bowl worth $600. Um, before I go into the video, I just wanted to ask if you're watching this, could you please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Um, I saw that still a lot of my viewers are actually not subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching this, just um, if you can please press on the subscribe button, that will help my channel grow. Um, Anyhow, let's move on, uh, let's get into the video. So, um, this book, okay, uh, $600. So, to give you a bit of context, uh, $600 for a violin bow um, is considered cheap in the professional music world. So I did a video, if uh, maybe you've seen it, where I was comparing um, different bows with different values and it was starting at $500 and it was going all the way up to I think $100,000 and some people's you know the $500 was the one considered the cheap one and some people said how is that cheap and I understand like $300 is not cheap but in the music world it, it, it can be considered as cheap um, but in in you know for people who are starting to play or at intermediate level or amateur level or play for fun then $500 is actually quite expensive. Um, so that's just to give you a bit of context. Um, this bow, okay, it's new, I've never played with it, but it's it was sent from the Fiddler's Shop and it's the Fiddlerman Pro um, Violin Bow. Um, it's made out of carbon fiber. Apparently it's like a very high-end carbon fiber and it's supposed to be 10% lighter than the average bow, which is good for violin because that makes it lighter and that makes it easier to play a lot of the time, if especially for all the soot here bowing. Um, so looking at it, what's quite nice is, um, so as you see it's carbon fiber, um, and what's quite nice, what I quite like, is the fact that this is snake wood, which makes it look really chic, I think. Quite like the look of it. <laughs> um, and then it's mounted in silver here, and also at the point here. So that's the look of it. Um, but obviously what matters is the sound. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be uh, playing some some bits of pieces so we can see what it sounds like and what we think of it. Um, it's brand new so it might take a little time to settle in. Put some resin on first. Okay. Let's get to this. Okay, so I've put a, quite another present on. Hopefully it'll be okay. Um, but it's a brand new bow, so it will take, I know it will take a bit of time to obviously get um, fully comfortable and, and I know it will get better as the more I play it, the better it will get. But I'm gonna be playing a little bit, so to get an idea. I think we probably already can get an idea, um, even though I can just know that it will get better and better, which is good. Um, okay. Thank <laughs>
to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm quite impressed. I didn't expect to be quite that good, actually. Um, just with the way it, it responds really, really well. Um, in terms of everything that's spiccato strokes. It's really light, it really is really light. Spiccato strokes and, and sauté and ricochet, that all responds really well. And I really like it for that. Um, for the melody part, I think because it's new, it's not responding as well as it can, I think. Um, it does have a lot of potential. Um, obviously, it's nice to have a wooden bow as well. Um, but I have to say that for the price and for the the fact that it's a carbon fibre bow, um, it sounds really, really quite good. Uh, and it's really comfortable to play. So, yeah, my honest opinion would be really good price for value actually that's true it is it actually is like a prof like it feels like a professional bow it really does uh, in the ability that it has really light really good for also tea bowing um a, for my side a little bit less good as my wooden bow but it's a expensive wooden bow so you know the comparison in price is so different um in terms of melody and 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 the 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 sound that I can get out with my wooden bow I find this one a bit less but then I will have to see with time how it develops. Um, but yeah, um, honestly, uh, quite impressed. <laughs> um, and I look forward to play more with it to see how it develops. Um, and obviously the plus side is the look. I really love snake wood so much. So pretty. Anyway, um, that's my thoughts on it. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, Obviously, I know it's recorded, so it might not sound like the real thing, but at least you have an idea. Do let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'll put the link of the bow if you guys want to check it out. Uh, if you guys want to try it for yourself. Um, and yeah, if you enjoy these kind of reviews, reviews, let me know. And I'll do some more. Um, I did a one of a cheap, cheap violin, $60 violin. You guys seem to enjoy that quite a lot. Um, so if you'd like me to do other reviews, other bows, other violins, or violin products, let me know. Um, anyhow, that's all for today. See you later.